It's good. Wow. Um, my name is James Beer. Uh, we are in beautiful Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Um, here with Aaron Waldman. I'm a singer-songwriter, guitar player. Uh, my name is Aaron Waldman. I'm here in Williamsburg, Brooklyn with James Beer, who's a singer-songwriter. Uh, I sell oysters, and pre-COVID times, I was also a musician. Rescue the cat. Rescue. I'm telling you that. Rescue the cat. Rescue. Rescue. Uh, I'm from Maine, and I've been living in New York for four and a half years now. And I'm from Colorado, and I've been here six years. Almost. Almost six years. I came here for a job. Um, I write music for TV and advertisement. That's kind of my my day job, as it were. And so yeah, yeah I came here because I got that out of school. And then um, yeah, I left that job three years ago. And now now I'm just flying free. <laughs> I came here to pursue music, and now I left that job, and I'm also flying free. Well, we had a mutual friend. So the guy who hired me for my job was also from Maine, and um, he had done some recording with Aaron in Maine and here, or something like that. Yeah, close, close enough. Okay, yeah. And so when Aaron moved here, uh, he kind of introduced us. Um, yeah, and then we started, I don't know, just kind of hanging out more and uh, writing a little bit together. <clears throat> and that was for like a year and a half, just kind of it. Um, and then, yeah, Aaron kind of started a band, as it were. Uh, yeah, so and then the band kind of became a band instead of a single-person project, and we had about a year and a half of fun, and then we stopped being a band and also stopped having fun. Um, <laughs> and that was, I guess, about a year and a half since we stopped having fun. Yeah. <laughs> So by high school, I was pretty sick of music as a whole. Also, you know, growing up in a time where like Limp Bizkit and Eminem and classic rock were all things that you heard on the radio. Uh, but I had a really good high school chorus teacher, and I started playing in some, uh, for lack of a better word, emo bands in high school. And the music was very easy to play, unlike classical piano. Uh, so really, both of those things, the chorus teacher and the emo bands, changed how I thought of music. <laughs> Yeah, I also had piano lessons foisted on me, <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I didn't like it. I had a very, um, just like the classic, very mean piano teacher, um, and I, I wanted to quit. My mom wouldn't let me quit, uh, so we found a different teacher who's this hippie, hippie guy with like <laughs> high-waisted jeans and like painted slippers and, <laughs> and um, instead of doing recitals we would uh, record an album and um, yeah at that point I'd kind of picked up the guitar and so he started letting me bring my guitar um, yeah and I I just kind of followed that path I, I don't know I, yeah. and then around high school I started recording um, and that's really when the songwriting kind of became something Yeah, uh, well, not the live shows yeah. was a huge, I feel like that was a really nice, um, I mean, like, the, the shows themselves were really fun, but also just the community of people around them, yeah, so those obviously kind of haven't been happening, which is a drag. I tried to uh, focus on music production and found out that I'm really bad at it, so... I started an oyster business, and I'm not sure if I'm good at it or not. I'm not sure if people are good or bad at selling seafood, but some people make money and some people don't. And I feel like right now I'm breaking even, so it's still undecided. <laughs> and you're good at producing oysters. <laughs> uh, we're, we're working on producing oysters. That's a very long-term project. It takes uh, you know, about two years to produce your first oyster. And, uh, yeah. and then you have to master it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the world's your oyster. <laughs> uh, for me, it's been, unlike on a day-to-day -day basis, it's been fairly similar. Like, um, 
yeah, I mean, I'm uh, my work stuff has I was freelance anyway before the pandemic, so uh, yeah, I mean, mostly it's been like going to the studio every day, recording, working on my own music, um, you know, working on more work-related projects, and uh, yeah, spending more time at home, <laughs> definitely spending less money. <laughs> I've, for the last like six months, I've been working on an album. It'll be ten songs, and I think the full album will get released probably in like late May or early June. Um, and then I've released two singles so far. So last week I released the second single. Um, it's on Spotify. All of the, all of the above. There's a few options right now, but um. I am leaving New York uh, on May 1st, um, which I will miss dearly, obviously. Um, but yeah, and I'm, I'm going home back to Colorado for the summer. And then in August, I'm either going to move to LA or um, I've applied for a work visa in Taiwan. Um, so, and I, I need to reapply for it now. But if I, if I get that, then I'll, I'll go to Taiwan um, and Japan for sure. So, yeah, there's kind of, I don't know, I'm just, I'm waiting to see what, what happens. Yeah, I started up an oyster wholesale and CSA business. Uh, we're thinking about opening up a brick and mortar location not too far from here, which would be really fun. Got an oyster farm going, uh, which I'm not doing much of the work on it, but my partner, uh, who would prefer to remain unnamed, is a former engineer, um, and he's really got some phenomenal processes down. Uh, we'll be having our first harvest uh, sometime in the fall of 2022, and I'm really confident that this dude's going to produce a kick-ass product. You just got the um, first shot. <laughs> yeah, I just got my first vaccine shot, which is exciting. Um, yeah, I mean, I for me, it's really just focusing on moving and finishing the album. Those are the two kind of big, big projects, and trying to say goodbye to New York a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, if we do wind up starting the bar, that's definitely going to take up all of my summer. But once I have all the systems a little bit more in place, uh, I would like to start refocusing on music. There are some really talented people in the city who I've been looking for an excuse to work with for a while. And with the business in place so that I'm not, you know, spending most of my time bartending just to make rent, uh, it might create more opportunities, more time to focus on those creative pursuits. Uh, and I do, I see myself staying in New York for the next, uh, the next decade. I'm turning 30 in a couple of months and uh, I've really enjoyed my time here and I'd like to continue staying here as long as the people I care about who make this whole area worthwhile don't all pack up and move <laughs> to LA. <laughs> should we do, cat I mean, I, I guess we should do Cat Rescue. <laughs> okay, yeah. Say, do you follow George on Instagram? I see that you don't, but I know that you can. All you've got to do is look up George's a man, and you can catch him rescuing the cats again. It's a cat rescue. Rescue the cat, rescue, I'm telling you that Rescue the cat, rescue, rescue the cat, rescue, I'm telling you that When Brian found Penny, she had cement in both eyes So he cleaned it all out, cause he's just that kind of guy We thought that Penny was sick, incurably diseased Until we realized that she was really just a he, it was a cat 
Rescue. Rescue the cat. Rescue. I'm telling you that. Rescue the cat. Rescue. Rescue the cat. Rescue. I'm telling you that. It goes na 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 na. You gotta imagine a guitar solo, or make your own, or uh, like watch a cat video for the next five seconds. Well, the thing about Sex Pistols is that everybody sucked, whereas only one door truly didn't give a fuck. This means that three out of four are the odds that a door may lend you a hand. Solve your cat rescue. Rescue the cat. Rescue. I'm telling you that. Rescue oh. the cat. Rescue. Rescue the cat. Rescue. I'm telling you that. It's a cat. He's my fuzzy little buddy. He's my fuzzy little. He's my fuzzy little buddy, fuzzy friend. He's my fuzzy little buddy. He's my fuzzy little. He's my fuzzy little buddy, fuzzy friend. He's my fuzzy little buddy, he's my fuzzy little, he's my fuzzy little buddy, fuzzy friend. He's my fuzzy little buddy, he's my fuzzy little, he's my fuzzy little buddy, fuzzy friend.